quote a song, you don't have to take your clothes off to have fun. On this edition of Test Drive, the fast and fancy Audi S6. Talking about clothes, or in this case the sheet metal the S6 wears, the body is now made of 20% aluminum including sheet and cast aluminum components. It is, as a result, much lighter than the outgoing model. This and the adoption of a new twin-turbo V8 which replaces the previous V10 delivers a ride that can only be described as energetic. The twin-turbo 4-liter V8's 420 horsepower is more than ample by any measure, but it's the torque figure that really makes a difference. 405 pound-feet of torque anywhere between 1400 and 5200 RPM. This gives the S6 a very fast tip-in response and an enviable turn of speed. The reason is simple. The horsepower peaks just 300 RPM after the torque, and it keeps pulling right the way through to 6400 RPM. This Audi A6 really is a very capable car. It is a full-on sports sedan and it is a high-end luxury sedan at the same time. It pampers its riders, yet you drop the hammer, it's got the power, the handling and the grip. Well, it's just tenacious. The power is relayed to the road through Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system and a seven-speed twin-clutch transmission that features paddle shifters that work regardless of whether the shifter is in drive, sport or manual modes. The gearbox is a delight that snicks through its gears seamlessly and like grease lightning. Head into a corner, pull the paddle a couple of times and the box rev matches as the engine braking comes online. It sounds so seductively naughty, it becomes intoxicating. This car comes with Audi Drive Select. Now it allows you to choose comfort, auto, dynamic and individual. Now depending upon the mode you choose, it does different things to the car. Obviously if you're in comfort or auto, well you're driving around town. If that twisty road beckons, you select dynamic. My favorite setting, however, proved to be individual. It allows you to set up a whole bunch of different things and to tailor the car to your tastes. That way it becomes your car and it really does work exceptionally well. The Quattro all-wheel drive system ensures the power is put down seamlessly. In this instance, the system puts 40% of the torque to the front wheels and the remainder to the rear. It can, however, send up to 70% to the front and 80% to the rear, or split it evenly front to rear, depending upon what's happening at the road surface. The system also puts Audi Sport differential to very good use. It adds torque vectoring to the basic ability. The outside rear wheel gets more power, which turns the car into a corner with less steering input, greater precision, and virtually no understeer. This S6 comes lavishly attired and you can load it up to your heart's content. In the case of this tester, well, beautiful 10-way power seats, lovely leather, great materials. And as for the options, well, the one that caught my eye was the Bang & Olufsen sound system. It puts 1,400 watts through 19 different speakers. It is as loud and proud as the car itself. It's also costly, $6,500 plus the taxman's bit, mind you. If there is a nit to pick with this car, it is that there's so much technology shoehorned into the cabin, well, it can get a bit bewildering. The S6 earns an adaptive suspension. The electronically controlled air suspension also features continuously adaptive damping. The combination delivers a very good balance thanks to the ability to tailor the ride according to the situation. Throw in the oversized 255-35R20 tires, Quattro's ability, and getting the S6 to misbehave, well, it's a tough task. It just hunkers down on a base driver input with unerring accuracy. In the end, it gave me one serious cheese-eating grin. Any car that goes from rest to 100K in 4.6 seconds and does the more important 80 to 120 passing move in 3.9 seconds, well, it tends to grab the driver's attention in a hurry. This car sure did. What's more remarkable, when it hits 120, it just does not ease up. 